Well, hello everyone. I just wanted to give you an update on my Seminole pumpkins. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, the Seminole pumpkins were producing superbly all summer long. They just kept growing and there were numerous pumpkins. And now it's the end of September and they've been hit by an aphid invasion. Terrible invasion and it just happened overnight. Too, too many aphids to even deal with. So I'm now trimming and removing, let's see this huge pile. And I'm just going to be trying to save whatever pumpkins I can save. I'll show you the, the there's some on the back, it's aphids, and it's just caused like a sticky, um, residue on all the leaves. It's called honeydew, where there's just so many aphids and the aphids just leave a mess. I, I've seen a few ladybugs trying to do their job, but it's just, it's just gotten really bad. So I'm going to be removing maybe all of the, the, the patch. I'm hoping maybe I can leave a few, few of the runners that are supporting some um, pumpkins that haven't had a chance to ripen like those. But I'm not really sure if I can do it. And there's quite a few ripe ones in there and I have some I've already harvested. So I'm going to clear up this whole patch. It's unfortunate because I have a lot of these that I that get rid of. All these baby ones that had a chance to make it. You know, it's just been the best weather for this crop, but I'm grateful for what I did get. And once I finish clearing this mess up, I'll show you what pumpkins I did end up with. Okay, so I finished pulling all of the plants. There were just two plants. It produced really well. And there's a little bit left back there that I'll finish up in the morning. It's just too hot right now. And besides the aphids, I also found some powdery powdery mildew so I'm glad I was able to just tackle it and get rid of it. Here's a few um, little ones that never made it. And there were quite a few like that. It's kind of disappointing but there's another one over here. But in all I'm pretty happy with the results. Here are a few larger pumpkins that um, didn't have time to turn. They kind of turn a golden tan color. Some, some of them kind of started already. and Maybe they'll be able to ripen. I'm not sure. I'll just keep my eye on these. And then I'll show you what I, what I got out of the harvest. Okay, so before I look at the... <laughs> show you the, the, the pumpkins, I have a little friend that's looking through the screen and she's kind of mad. She wants to get out. She likes to be with me wherever I'm at, but she's going to have to stay right there for now. Yeah, so here's the, here's what I got out of the plants today. I'm going to have to pull them out of the sun. Looks like I, I don't know, maybe a dozen? A dozen or so. This looks like the largest one. They say they should be about... I don't know, three pounds, but that doesn't feel like three pounds to me. That's maybe two pounds. Looks good, though. So I'm pretty happy with the harvest. I've also um, been pulling a few here and there over the last few weeks, and I have them in a box in the house where it's a lot cooler, and I'll show you those, too. And oh, here's just some Thai peppers I have drained. I love those Thai peppers. They're delicious. So I'm, in all, I'm pretty happy with the Seminole pumpkin harvest, and I'm sure I'll try growing them again next year. And at the end of this, I'll show you the pumpkins that I already harvested, and also I'll show you um, a, the results of um, a couple that I baked, and with a little bit of a, a recipe there. So if you ever are interested in growing Seminole pumpkins and don't know what to do with them, I just have one really simple recipe. I'm sure all of you seasoned cooks and gardeners know how to prepare 
a small pumpkin squash, but anybody that's just starting out or learning, hopefully that can help you. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys are all doing really well and your gardens are doing well. And I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.